welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to show you guys how to get really nice volume via teasing. Um, ratting your hair, all the other fun words that we all like to use. I love teasing because I kind of like a bigger look with my hair, especially when I curl it. The best part about the volume is that it's super easy to get and instead of doing like just one big clump and just kind of going back there with the comb and just creating a mess, I have a foolproof system that's going to give you a really pretty just fullness without all of that mess when you try to get it out at night. It's so much easier and I just love this way and I have really amazing products that I like to use personally um, and I'll give you some little pointers, I guess backup, other options you can use. So let's get started. Okay, so first what I've done, uh, I did the flat iron curls. If you would like to see and figure out how I've done this, I do have a flat iron curl tutorial video, so I love it if you would watch it if you haven't already. This is amazing. I love my flat iron curls. They, I have a bounce to them, and it just kind of, I don't know, they're faster for, excuse me, for me. So I usually use a flat iron for my curls. I first prepped my hair uh, when it was dry, or I'm sorry, wet. Wet. <laughs> When it was wet, I stuck this full bloom. This is like a thickening spray by Big Sexy. I love this. I totally think it actually gives lift without that sticky feeling of a lot of like volumizers, like mousse volumizers and all that stuff. I'm not really like a producty feel in my hair kind of person. I like my hair to look and feel really soft and natural and I think that this gives amazing volume without that nasty product feel. There's another one out there um, by Biolage. That one is really great for finer hair because it's a it's much lighter than this one and I use it for all my fine haired clients. It's amazing. I totally recommend that one too. I like this one because it's good for my hair. I also used um, this Biolage Repair Inside. It's a leave-in conditioner, so you put it in wet. I put it only on my ends because when you put stuff like this in close to your scalp, especially thicker leave-in conditioners, like a cream one, you lose a lot of your volume. It just weighs your hair down from the root. So you, I just always keep it on the ends just to kind of seal my ends and act as a heat protectant, which this one actually is a built-in heat protectant. So that's super important because the point of a heat protectant is that when you put the heat protectant on, the point of it is to have the heat go burn through the product first before it actually hits your hair. So it kind of helps to protect from mechanical damage. I also use, um, this is from Big Sexy, this is Healthy Sexy Hair, this is the Soy Renewal, this is an argan oil. I love it because it's really, it's more like a serum rather than an oil, so that's really amazing, but I wouldn't recommend it for fine hair because it is a little bit, it's a thicker serum, so it's definitely, if you're fine haired, it's going to weigh your hair down, so... Um, texturizing creams or even just if you just did the plain leave-in conditioner that should totally be enough for your hair you shouldn't need anything like an oil that just kind of gets a little overbearing so what I like to use for when I do this I like my little brush here this is a teasing comb specifically for making volume in your hair. I got this one from Sally's. I mean, you can get these anywhere. Paul Mitchell and Big Sexy have really amazing ones. Um, but if you can't afford that one, this one's really good. Um, then, I will also be using, as you've seen in my other tutorials, this powder play. This is awesome. It actually uses the charges in your hair to push the hair apart. So you actually get lift without like a spray per se. 
Um, a lot of people don't like aerosol, so this is a really great alternative to non-aerosol products. I do have an aerosol alternative if perhaps you don't have the, um, the powder plate. Totally fine. You can totally use any kind of aerosol hairspray. They all will work for this. The powder play has a really great hold. It's pretty firm, so when you stick it in, you definitely feel it, but it'll help give it like a little bit of grit, so when you are teasing, it actually holds the teasing so well. So I'll show you. So what I like to do is I kind of leave my bangs out, and then what I will do is I will take a thin front section. And you really want these to be pretty thin, like maybe like half inch wide. And because the thinner that you make them, the easier it is to control the shape of your teasing. So you don't want to get crazy with all this volume in the back because then you're not going to be able to actually control the shape of your bump. It just gets to be a mess. So this is really awesome. You can fluff it out, which I'll show you. This, I just sprinkle it right on, right where I um, parted it. And then I like to keep my teasing close to my scalp because too much of it, I'm just gonna start teasing my curl and that just makes a big mess. The other thing you can do is if you don't have the powder play, take your aerosol hairspray, spray the uh, part really quick, and then same difference. You wanna do that one a little bit quicker, because if you don't, it'll dry and then it won't work as well. So then, taking a next half inch section, I'm gonna part it again. It's a little too much right there. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Tease it. Really, I'm like rolling my wrist instead of this motion. No marching band, okay? Because that is gonna ruin it. We'll go with, we'll call it the clock. Beautiful. And then I like to bring, I like to have a nice full, full crown area. So I'm gonna bring it back. So it depends on how thick your hair is and how your head is shaped. I have a huge head. So obviously I'm going to be using a lot of sections, thinner ones, and I go back pretty far. Whoa, that one's starting to get crazy. Great, let's not. One like that. Okay, and then I'm gonna go one more just below where your head starts to round. If you go one more down, That'll give you that really pretty full bump without being too overzealous, and it'll actually make it look normal instead of like snooky bump. As cute as that hairstyle is and all. So what I'm gonna do is now, I'll actually take each section and I flip it back, and then I'm just gonna spread it apart. Because spreading it apart, when you do that, it helps to give it more of like a natural shape. So that is part of my bangs. Don't want to include that. And then if you just lightly, 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 just kind of brush over top. Unless you like a super messy, like, scene kind of look, I would skip that step because then you kind of lose that messy look. But if you want it to be a little bit more sleek, I would definitely comb it. And then taking, um, I personally like a light hold hairspray because, like I said, I don't really like a product-y, super product-y feel in my hair. And I'm just going to spray it in place. And there you go, guys. Um, another tip before I go... Always, if you're going to curl your hair um, or even flat iron it before 
you go in and tease because if you tease first and then you try to flat iron or curl your hair, you're going to ruin your tease. You're going to pull it right out. Even with a regular curling iron, it's just going to pull the whole teasing out and then you're going to be like, what the heck? Why does it look crap? That's because you pulled it all out. So definitely make sure that you curl or, you know, style your hair before teasing. Um, and then any additional teasing that you'd like to do, if you like a little bit fuller sides, same thing. Part it, do a little tease, part it, do a little tease, brush it back. It gives you that full side. I kind of have full sides just naturally because my hair has a lot of layers. So it kind of just tends to have some fullness here. So I don't really tend to do that. Um, when my layers were longer, I definitely had to because I just lost all the fullness here. There was just none because all my layers were like down here and then the rest of my hair was like down to my butt. It was ridiculous. So that didn't really work for me. But now it does, and I really like how it falls, and then it kind of separates the curls that you've done prior, and it kind of gives a nice voluminous look there. So that's really neat as well. It kind of separates them so you don't get that one funnel curl thing going on. So please, if you like this video, try it at home. Let me know how it works for you. Um, please watch my other videos. I'm always going to be posting um, extra videos. Let me know what you want to see. Subscribe to my channel. I would totally love it and appreciate it. And I hope that you enjoy my professional opinion um, as I am a licensed cosmetologist. And yeah, so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe, please, please, please. And oh, tell your friends. I'm on social media everywhere. Um, Quintina Sani. Pretty much everywhere. I'm working on the extra social media. I'm still trying to figure out Snapchat, guys. Let's just be real. So, um, yeah. So, please like this video. Give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.